Hey guys, what's up? This is Alexander530, and um, I'm bringing you a how-to video just because, you know, just because. So today's how-to video is going to be on how to make your tank fry safe. By fry safe, I mean if they catch you off guard and your live beers, like guppies or sword tails, have babies, then this will probably protect them until you notice. Right now I have my koi sword tail. She is currently, um, she is currently pregnant. So let's get to, so the first type is with caves. Um, I have a few caves in here. I don't know if you can see them, but it's, there's two caves in that rock where fish can't, where bigger fish can't get there. And the babies, they might like to swim into them. So the first one is right there. Um, the rock comes out a little bit. And then it makes a little cave in there. It's pretty deep, so it can house a few babies. But yeah, um... You can see, like, um, hold on, I'm trying to multitask, but, um, <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. But anyway, you can see that little cave right there. You might not see it, like, it actually is a cave, but it is. It's pretty deep in there, too, so, um, and... All the other fish can't get in there. The other one is over there. It's like a little crack that's big enough for the babies to swim in, but not big enough for the adult fish to swim in there. Um, I didn't cut those holes, actually. They came in the rock. But it's good to find rocks that actually do have some protection. And I have another cave back there. But um, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me try getting it over here. No, you can't see it, sorry. But um, yeah, try and get some rocks and driftwood with small like cracks in them or caves. And then I also recommend like flower pots that you break and then you stick them in the gravel and then with a little opening, like probably like this big. So yeah, next, plant hideouts. Um, this plant has little roots right there. Artificial plant has fake roots right there coming out. The babies could swim into there. They could swim into there. And in the middle, there's lots of algae where they could feed off in protection. So yeah, definitely fake plants like this. They work pretty good. So, the next plant is something like that plant. Its shape is like a cup. The leaves, its shape is like a cup. And down here, where all the branches connect, um... It makes a lot of protection where the babies could just hide in there and um, the bigger fish, they wouldn't be able to get them. So yeah, definitely some plants like that. Now moving on to plants like this. They have like little hairs. It looks like little hairs like this. If you want to see the real version of these plants, go on Google Images and look up Naja, Naja, I think, N-A-J-A. Then, um, so yeah, the babies, they could definitely hide in there. They could hide in there. And um, down there, definitely, it would be a really good place for the babies. Remember that the babies are small, they're not big. Most babies aren't that big. So, hiding places, um, they're, like, 
they're almost necessary. Um, and then real live plants. Plants like this Amazon sword um, has cover like in the middle, like where all the branches are coming out, where all the leaves are coming out. They could, the babies, they could hide in there. And they feel that it's a live plant, so they would probably all be in there because they feel more comfortable in live plants. Corey. But anyway. Yeah. And in there. Um, and then they sell these baby hideouts. They sell these baby hideouts. Which, they do work pretty good. But, you know, I wouldn't recommend them a lot. A lot. I would recommend more something like hair grass type of plant. It doesn't have... Just remember that your plants don't have to be real in order to be safe for the babies. But I do recommend live plants. So, um, I'm going to show you the plants that I do recommend that you have. Definitely something like this. Something like this. These, it's only like a very small area where the babies could hide in, so you don't really need it. Like... You can still have it in there. And definitely caves. Caves are like, I think caves are my best protection. I think they're the best protection for babies. And um, yeah, you have your basic caves. And definitely hair grass type of plants. Those can hide babies and the adults can't get to them. But um, more than anything, I recommend lots. Of, like, not so much that your fish can't move, but lots of live plants if you do want your babies to survive. Now remember, your babies might not hide in them. The fry might not hide in them. But they're there just in case they do. Like, if I only had one of those plants, I would probably see them out in the open, trying to look for cover somewhere else. But most babies, they, the first thing they do is go look for shelter. Definitely some of those plants and some of those. You can just, you can even have one of those and just like, cut it up, cut up, cut it up, and put all the branches together so that they look something like that. But yeah, I do recommend live plants, but like I, like always, you don't need live plants. And also a sponge on the filter. You definitely want that, so it won't suck up your babies. Or you can just make your own filter with the sponge and turn off that one. So yeah, um, I think that's it. I think I covered everything. Yeah, I covered everything so far. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Leave your leave any questions in the comments. Um, all that stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching.